Hi there, folks. Welcome to Story Time with Uncle Bill. Happy New Year. It's 2023. I'm late to the ball game. This is the uh, fit in the year. The road to six pack abs. Uh, haven't worked out in a minute. Had uh, the holidays, a couple personal issues. Really haven't did much other than uh, walk. I made other videos, but I haven't did any workout videos. And this really is a uh, just an intro to um because the place that i'll be working out at doesn't really have the room to do the kind of warm-ups that i like to do um so we're going to change it up and do it on the outside and uh what we're also going to do is the things that's really important to me and i like to talk about on my channel is um addiction and, and uh, mental health um and this yard right here um was a childhood friend of mine. I first came in this yard 30, 32 years ago. Um, and uh, actually, this would be the first. There, there's a few, the the fight where uh, get into a fight and uh, his mom assaults me. That started in here and went over in that yard. Um, the uh, humiliating bully for the last time. That happened right over there. And my mama lives four houses down. But in the mental health part, after I got out of prison, I actually came to this house and uh, met my case manager. And uh, I heard a name. I had been locked up. When I, when I went to prison, my daughter was two. When I came out, she was eight. And uh, I went over to my mom's, and my mom was like, yeah, Michelle's hanging out with Ty. I was like, Ty? Who is Ty? You know what I mean? You know, not not anything other than she's hanging out with a little boy. And uh, so I was curious. I was like, who's Ty? He's like, oh, the little boy up the street. Uh, stays with Debbie. Uh, go up there and see him. They're really cool people. So I walked up there. And he's just this little teeny dude. I don't know what I was thinking. He's like three or four years old. Got a big old smile. Just happy to do anything and everything. He was just a cool little dude. So life would happen. And uh, like I moved around a bunch and didn't really see him. And then uh, we connected um, after me and my wife separated. Um, I saw her. I knew she was a counselor, but I didn't know what for. And it turns out she was a mental health counselor. So I talked with her and uh, she got me. I must have went, me and her must have went to uh, like 20 psychiatrists. Because I'm not crazy. I'm uh, what they eventually just said, you know, you're just somebody when a, a, a situation, you, you got flash anger, people get scared. You got impulse control disorder. And I probably imagine most people do anyway. But clinically diagnosed from a North Carolina psychiatrist. Really didn't amount to anything. And it didn't even help me in any situations, neither. Um, but that's how I got involved. And it was a lot. I mean, they asked a bunch of questions, a bunch of personal questions. I actually had to sit in front of a board of like seven doctors, you know what I mean? Just to get denied for everything. Went to vocational rehab. It's one of those things that they... When you're in prison they're like hey reach out for all this help you got all this help that you could get and uh i think i did actually get approved but by the time i did get approved i was on my feet and really didn't you know i didn't need to help anymore you know help somebody else because you know they always talk about running out of funds or something so you know help the guy that really needs it i'm i'm okay now um but little dude was like five or six now four five six something like that and uh he was he he was um really 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 energetic really really having fun and i was in between places and um his mama needed some help putting in an attic door and this is where we became real good friends and this is this is this is a lasting long life for friendship um so i'm up in the attic and she had to leave so um she said hey can you watch him i was like yes yeah. so i I brought him up in the attic with me and, you know, he's helping me. And, you know, I'm asking him to pass me a tool that I don't need and make like I'm using it over here. And he's kind of getting it, but he's happy to play along. And he goes, oh, my God. He goes, Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill. That's what he called me, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. 
I was like, all right, buddy, come on. So I help him down the damn thing, and uh, I lock the door to the house. So I was like, oh, my God. So uh, he go, I was like, hey, come on, come on. We can go outside. We can go outside. He said, what? I think he was in a diaper or something, too. He's like, yeah, come on. We can go outside. Hurry up. We can go outside. He's like, we can pee outside. I said, yeah, go in the bushes. Go in the bushes. So he goes outside. He's peeing. He's laughing. It's dark, too. It's like 830 at night. So that ends up happening like three nights in a row. Go in the bushes, go in the bushes. You know, I got my back turned on and shit. Make sure not have to. He's laughing. Ah, I'm peeing in the bushes, peeing in the bushes. I go away. <laughs> oh, and, and in the process, uh, so like I would go, you know, that was at nighttime. Then I started going in the daytime. Um, we had bought the attic door at like five o'clock and we tried to stall it overnight. It didn't happen. So in the daytime, you know, there was like some ants walking around. I was like, hey, you want to see something cool? And I'd pick up an ant and eat it. And, uh, you know, oh, Mr. Bill eats bugs. Mr. Bill eats bugs. And and then he did it. And it freaked his mom and his grandma out. But nothing happened, you know what I mean? And, uh, and you know, it, when, when when you see somebody build a relationship with a kid that's not your own. And, and you know, that, that was like my daughter's best friend um, for a while. You know, it was like a three or four year age group but he only lived a couple houses down and they you could tell they had a lot of fun together and um he was just a really cool dude <laughs> and so he ate the bugs he's like me, me and mr bill ate the bugs and uh, uh I, I like the bugs and he had uh he had this little little tricycle thing with uh or a bicycle thing with the with the uh you know the 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 wheels that hold you up and I rode it. He's like, oh, Mr. Bill's crazy. We have video that. So I'm going to try to find all this video and stuff, too. Um, just an amazing little man. And it's back here on these steps right here. I was like, hey, Ty, look, man. Uh, I got to go. But when I get back and I got some free time, I hang out with these. Oh, Mr. Bill, come on. I, kill, I could kill all your free time. <laughs> I said, I bet you can, little buddy. I bet you can. And, uh. I, I went gone for about 65 days and I had came back and uh, <laughs> there was, there was this, I, and I came over, I came over to just see him and his, you know, his mom was my case manager, see them and hang out with his, with her family. That's at his mom and dad's house. And there was this puddle on the front porch. And I didn't see anything in his field anywhere. So I knocked up on the door. And they're like, oh, hey, hey. You know, they ain't seen me in a while. And uh, how you doing? I was like, I'm good. I said, hey, would you spill your drink right here? She goes, no, that's a little story. And I was like, well, I like stories. I, I love to hear. She goes, yeah. She goes, it actually involves you. I said, I, I haven't seen you. I know in a couple months. I know it can't involve me too much, can it? And she was like, no, no, it, no, it involves you. Because, see, that's uh, Ty just peed out there. I said, what? Yeah, she goes, oh, yeah, he's potty trained. Um, but for some reason, we can't get him to pee out the backyard. He got to come out the front yard and pee. <laughs> I said, well, did, did I get credit for potty training him, right? And, uh, I mean, that was one of the coolest things I'd ever heard. She goes, yeah, he just goes right out, flops it out. And she goes, I don't know what to tell him. Um, but he's doing a good job, but I just really wish he would go in the backyard. I said, I know that's right. And then I didn't... Um, I didn't see it for a while, but it was probably like a six month because the door didn't take that long. But if you look, I put that shed up right there and I did that by myself. And if you never put a shed up, I mean, there's like 600, 6,000 screws or something crazy like that. And uh, I did some other work. Um, plus, she, uh, uh, the, 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 mental health, uh, the mental health place she worked at at Quality. I used to go there um, for workshops. They had the workshops where gave out certificates, and uh, I did a polar plunge with them, and whatever else she asked me to do. You know, hey, look, if you come here, you know, they, I'll get credit for some hours or whatnot or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, come on. You know, I wasn't really doing anything. Um, plus, it was like uh, always helping somebody, so it was like a group session, like A A N A. Um, I think I went to gamblers. I went to all kind of groups. You know. Um, because I understand that maybe my story or my experience might help somebody get past the the issues that they have or 
see that maybe their thing ain't so bad or see somebody that's just like them and figuring out a way, okay, if he can, I can. But sometimes you just need a, a little inspiration, a little hope, a little bit, you know, maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can. So, uh, his name is Tyrese Brown. I call him Ty Stick, like the. I ain't never smoked with him either. So, here I can actually see this. So, this picture was from 2010. That's when, look, there's something special about this picture. A, I had hair. And B, he's gripping a good check him out. Look at that smile. That's my buddy right there. Look at that Rottweiler. That Rottweiler was his daddy's. He would, uh, Ty's mama would call me up and tell me, could I go over to the house that Jazz was having problems? So I towed him to the car, and that was, that was his last day. He's such a good dog. You, you can see how tended it. Look how tended. Look where he's looking. But well, we was friends. He's good friends. He was really good friends with me. So it was a tie stick. I mean, look at that picture, folks. Also, I had two feet. Or I had two ankles. I hadn't been shot yet. It was getting ready to happen. Man, he's a cool dude. I miss that man. This was 2000. I think it was 2010. 2009. Either 2008, 2009, 2010. I can't remember. Ain't no hair there no more. <laughs> Ty. So for the whole rest of this year, that's who we're going to be working out for. So if you hear me say Ty, that's who I'm referring to. Because I always remember him as, as that, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I show you more pictures, I show you videos. So if you never worked out with me, uh, it's pretty simple before you do any workout consult your physician and make sure you can working out um build your heart rate up and if you're not in a position to if you have a, a heart problems or health problems it can actually worsen them um don't take no chances um i don't i don't want to be the reason that you're hurt i can't do anything to help you i'm just trying to help you um and everybody says that and it's serious i mean you don't want to you don't want to be having fun and then all of a sudden you, you're gone you know what i mean so consult your physician make sure you're hydrated most people are not take the time for yourself drink some water i'm gonna drink some right now let's hydrate you know my man stale cracker if you don't know who stale cracker is funny dude good cook check him out he does a different kind of hydration but hydration is hydration when you're talking about it make sure make sure you ate something about an hour in advance you need some fuel don't come up in here not not eating it benefits you to eat first warm up move your body a little bit i'm gonna show you how to do it show you how to do it every time i work out it's pretty much what i do first um and if you see my other videos it's just a, a exercise that you use for your body to warm it up so you can get the blood flowing get your ligaments and tendons all loosened up we don't want to get hurt we want to work out we want to feel good feel better i talk about addiction and mental health they they almost play hand in hand most of the time working out will relieve some of those pressures some of those anxiety some of those depressions those things that are weighing you down Working out will lift you up. It, 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 it'll get your your endorphins going. It, it'll Your testosterone and estrogen will start moving around. Your blood starts moving. That's why you got to have 
the, the water in there to help filter out your system. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat me, neither. Come on out. If you're coming over here, work out. Let's work out. If you're coming over here for the story, that's cool, too. Um, so, generally speaking, it, it looks just like, uh, I always call it like gym class, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I start out with some shoulder rolls, and I'm always going to keep my feet moving. And right here, all I'm doing is putting my foot out and the heel, the heel is touching. That's normally how I start out every single time. And I want all my body, I want it, my top and my bottom moving. I want the blood flowing. I'm going to roll backwards. Now there's a, a whole bunch of variations that I do with my feet. Um, and I just usually do it for fighting because um, I want all my muscles moving. So I, I put my put my feet together and one leg out. And I'm, I, I don't have, I, I have a rod in my leg, so I don't have no ankle over here. So I'm about two inches shorter. So if it looks weird, that's what it is. And I'm gonna work. You know, I'm always gonna do something to work my shoulders out. So this is a shoulder press, and I keep my hands open and going. Or I could go back with it, and then I'm doing this to touching the toes. You know, you see this come out over here. And I've got, I'm activating all my muscles. I'm really, when I'm coming back, I'm squeezing and pulling. I know you can't, when, I, when I'm pulling my toe back, I'm concentrating on the muscles moving. I'm, there's no, you know what I mean? I'm going to focus on it. Really, really pay attention. Because I want all these muscles activated, regardless of what muscle I'm working on. And normally I work on an individual muscle group or... The combination of uh, two that work together and just keep switching it up. Or I'll go step out, long step, it's a bicep, uh, it's I don't know what it's called. go back to the shoulders. And I, it sucks. I ain't got no music, man. So if you got some workout music, crank it. But I don't. So I don't have, like, I, I would go to the beat with it. You know what I mean? So the only beat I'm going with is this one. <laughs> I always recommend that. If you have a partner, workout partner is good. Ty was my last workout partner. Me and Ty worked out together. We didn't work out together in that picture. But I would meet him later. And that would be the common bond. You look for common bonds. You know, a, a lifelong friend is a friend. You meet as a child and you have them to life. And that don't mean you see them every day or you talk to them every day. That just means the next time you see them, whether it be two days or a hundred years, nothing's changed. You might, your looks might have changed. You know your appearance, whether you're gray or not, and all that. But it's not how you feel. It's not how you act. It's who you are. And and allowing allowing people to see that, and know that, and not have fear or be ashamed or regret. Not worry about being judged. You just be yourself. And the the conversation, it's it's easy. You know, it's like, oh, God, yeah, how's it going? And you you go back to that place. But the difference between me and Ty at age was, I was like 25, 30 years. It didn't mean anything. But that little five, four, I oh, man, he hit me. I don't think he was in school yet, so he thinks he was four. So smart, so full of life. <laughs> Come around picking up bug. Oh man, you can't, you can't pick that bug up. But Mr. Bill, pick it up. <laughs> so one of the things I like to do, um, like I say, uh, you know, if you're uh, warm up before you work out, come work out and stuff. 
one of the things I like to do to work on my grip, keep my back steady, and uh, is I walk around with, with dumbbells. Good for your forearm. If you look, I got some down here. Hey, and some people say, oh man, I need more pump in my arms after a workout or something. This is what you do. And if you, uh, you know, you get a weight you like, you could just do anything you want from here. You know what I mean? But uh, I always encourage outdoor. It's it's kind of cold outside, but I always encourage uh, working out outdoors. Normally, I probably have a little bit less clothes on, but it is January. You know what I mean? found that if I don't work out for a cause or a reason, I don't really work out as hard. So like when I grab those dumbbells, I always picture I have somebody's legs or hands, you know, carrying them. And I need to carry them so far. So I push myself, push yourself. You know, even in uh, the warm ups, the cool downs, or during the workouts, push yourself. Don't go heavy. Not, not that kind of push yourself. Go to where it hurts. Go to where you feel something. Because that's what mental health and addiction is. It's overcoming that feeling to feel that pain. You know, a lot of people feel that pain and, and they, they, they cut themselves or they burn themselves or... Talk about doing bad things or doing bad things. They don't know how to deal with that pain. They don't know how to let go of that anger. They don't know how to let go of that hurt. They don't know how to process that. It's understandable. I mean, I bet everybody at some point in time has had thoughts like that. I mean, it's just it's all part of. Especially if you if you've been through anything, if you've been through some hurt, you've been through some turmoil, some drama, anything bad. That's why I got these workout videos. You know, I I, I understand the value of the workout and the aspect of how it stimulates the mind to concentrate on the body, and maybe in that process learning about yourself because you have to feel this working working out is about feeling it's not about just moving a body part that's that's not what working out is working out is about taking care of yourself working about working out is about finding joy in the process of transforming your life for you or for others whoever you do it for do it I mean, you're worth it. You know what I mean? And you, and you don't have to be overweight or out of shape. You know what I mean? You can be in the best shape of your life. Continue. You know? And, if, and, and, and maybe you don't have a good addiction. And maybe you don't have a mental health problem. But I bet there's somebody that you know. I bet there's somebody you know. I mean, I see it everywhere I go. And I try uh, as much as I can... To be involved, I can I, I I easily assert myself, and I ask I ask that I can. Hey, look, uh, maybe there might be something I could do to help the situation. I noticed something, and uh, I've been lucky, really have. Um, so that's normally what it is. Um, it's it's the workout. I mean, it's the it's the pre workout. Moved up in the top. Um, I'm going to go to some side to sides right quick. Stationary. Oh. oh, man. Keep.
Can you hear me cracking? <laughs> So if you see this, you're having a bad day, I got a bunch of videos. I know what it's like. I'm crazy, too. I do crazy stuff. It's called Good Morning. You more or less stick your butt back. You look who you're headed for. I like to push myself. If somebody else pushes their self, I want to see if I can do it, too. I might be a monkey see, monkey do kind of guy. If you jumped off a bridge and... I knew the bottom of it. <laughs> I knew the bottom of it was uh, clear for the landing. I'm bigger than my, they're your average person. You know, your average person weighs about 160 to 180. I'm at least 270. You know what I mean? So when you jump, you go down 20 feet. When I go jump down, I go straight to hell. You know, it's not the same thing. And excuse my language, I mean, but it's just not. Uh, but that don't mean I still won't do it, though. I mean, uh, I'm always down. And if you ever want to see me uh, do a challenge, leave it in the comments. Say, hey, look, I, I dare you, or blah, blah, blah. And see if I ain't already done it, if it ain't a hot challenge, because I took most of them. Twenty twenty three is going to be a good year. This is just the start of it. This is the warm-up part of it. Uh, we're going to donate. The, uh, or it's going to be an honor. Of my man Ty Brown, aka the Ty Stick. One more time, folks. Check him out. He's such a cool little dude. It's an awesome memory for me. They just found this picture and was like, hey, check it out. I was like, yes. Oh my God, yes. I hope everybody's having a good day and staying safe. If you can, hit that like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't. If you're suffering from mental health or addiction, there's help. There's a lot of help. There's a lot of hotlines. Um, I'm going to be talking about them throughout other videos that I have. Um, it's very important to me. I find it important to you if you're struggling. There's, there's meetings. There's the hotlines. Talk to one of your friends. Just talk to somebody. Sometimes talking it out might be enough. And if it's not, come over here and work out. Let's see if that ain't.